Welcome to another episode of Sippy Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make banana bread. Banana bowl. I've got one third cup of melted butter, one egg, four bananas that's been was really ripe, and just mashed them up. A teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're just going to give this a stir. Now you can use, if you don't want sugar, you can use honey or agave. So if you see any big lumps of bananas, just mash them up a little bit. And in this bowl, I have got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a pinch of some salt here, and then a teaspoon of some baking soda. And I'm just going to mix that together before I dump it into the other bowl. Got your oven preheated to 350 degrees. And you're going to grease you a loaf pan. A standard loaf pan. Make sure you spray your loaf pan real good with some spray. Or brush it with some oil so it won't stick. All the flour is beaten and everything's incorporated. This is where you can add nuts or dried fruit if you want to. Extra for dried fruit, some dried fruit to your banana bread if you're doing nuts. About a half a cup. If you like nuts, go crazy. <laughs> and add more chocolate chips. Some people will add a half a cup or to a cup of chocolate chips. White chocolate chips would be good. Any type of nut, dried cherries, raisins, or you can just do it plain like I am today. Into our greased loaf pan we go. Into the oven preheated, 350 degrees. It goes for about 45 minutes to an hour until your toothpick comes out clean. And then you let it cool before you pop it out of your loaf pan. Banana bread just came on the oven. I've let it cool for a few minutes and then I ran a butter knife around the sides. Let's see if it'll come out for me. But it's still popping hot. But I wanted to cut into it and let you see the inside. Little butter. And there you have it. Banana bread. It'd be wonderful with a cup of hot tea or coffee on these cold winter days.